Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Force and Success with me Gomesh and uh, in this latest episode we will be looking at uh, the some of the teams that have been struggling to put their foot forward in the ongoing edition of the IPL and the major news that has come through from the tournament this week and joining with me for this episode is Venkatakrishna welcome to the show hi Gomesh yes uh, so first let's get things started uh, Chennai Super Kings MS Dhoni Ravindra Jadeja did any of us saw that coming i don't think yes chennai were not doing well but see this is like a sort of a reaction that you don't normally associate with chennai super kings i thought okay like this season they might take reflect on the captaincy at the end of the season but surprisingly they decided to act midway through the season and uh, going by what dhoni told at the end of the match it is like clear that okay like what lot of us were thinking it was like captaincy was like affecting the winners it was like there for everybody to see he wasn't putting his best foot forward when it comes to batting bowling or even fielding he was dropping he dropped two catches in a single match so i think it, like dhoni said it's more about what was going on in his mind which is why dhoni thought okay like let me step in let me take the initiative let me like lay the side and probably i think but this is where it's going to get interesting okay now this has happened what about next season why are you going to chennai super kings get a new captain is it you have to groom somebody from within for which there are very limited options if you ask me yeah. or they have to like depend on few players that are going to be in we don't know whether there going to be a, like a auction of any yeah, kind yeah. whether it is a mini auction or whatever so it's going to be very interesting to unless okay the only other option is for chennai super kings to trade someone from other team yeah. but will anyone any of the other nine franchises yeah. like look to load of their key player who is like captain material is like very but it's still a long way ahead just focusing on one of the things that dhoni said uh, uh, the things that it's been largely discussed is that how dhoni is still marshaling the troops on the field when uh, csk is bowling despite jadeja being the captain but uh, uh, one of the striking thing, things that dhoni said is that uh, i said i'll take care of things for the first game or two after that he'll have to be on his own and <laughs> Uh, so uh, how interesting is that because from outside it a lot of things we see but it doesn't seem that exactly what that's happening inside look when he said first two games were surprising because like right through the tournament looked like dhoni was the one who was marshaling the troops so that was a bit surprising but again like yes field pace placements and stuff most of the wicket keepers yeah. do and since it is dhoni we tend to like who has been like yeah he is the one been who's doing it the but yeah you can't say for sure as well but but it'll be interesting to see how much of his say jadeja had in this entire decision to like relinquish the captaincy yes dhoni has everything all the say in the franchise how the franchise runs and everything but it's would be interesting to hear from jadeja as well because like you see, you, you can add in the captaincy yeah. it's not like a thing that any player will like take it like yeah let it yeah, go yeah. off it's, it's got to be even in such a big exactly franchise. so it's like at that in middle of the tournament yes things didn't go his way but jadeja i'm not sure how jadeja is going to take it so yes but it's not like jadeja will be like okay let me like leave the franchise i don't think chennai are like that kind of a team they have not had proper communication with each and everyone uh but again yeah but now again you just go back and see like whether they made a mistake in like the auction or yes, even exactly. before that like yeah uh, but i think one of the things that will be interesting to see is how jadeja goes from here because there is a t20 world cup coming up something we keep talking about and he is uh, one of the key players in the scheme of things in the lower middle order especially along with hardik someone like hardik pandya uh, as dhoni said to just to quote him uh, any team would rather have uh, uh, and uh, three dimensional <laughs> jadeja with who is contributing with the bat ball and in the field uh, someone who is a gun fielder on the outfield rather than you know burdening him with extra responsibilities as well uh, uh, let's see how it goes for him from here on uh, but moving on let's look at some of the franchises that have struggled uh, to you know uh, put up a complete team performance and uh, win matches consistently so far first uh, let's uh, take a look at some some team like kolkata night riders uh, they on paper their first 11 uh, looks uh, a decent team uh, not a very uh, you know overly dominating team but a decent team that can win matches uh, so wh- how, what is it that gone wrong for them i like you said like they have got just a decent team yeah. with a decent team is like it's impossible to make it like work consistently in a league like IPL where there is like the 
quality is too good and this is where it's very interesting as well because kolkata like retain the likes of varun chakravarty sunil narayan andre russell and but the problem is like venkatesh iyer ahead yes, of someone like shubhan two of their like key players varun chakravarty and uh, venkatesh iyer they haven't performed yeah. as much as they expected to and especially varun is interesting because varun it looks like uh, batsmen have like figured out how to play him because like you, you bat that is like hitting him over covers for sig which is like just shows like yes the way that like decoded him or is like varun is not bowling as well as he was in the previous season uh saying that again but kolkata had a like a huge uh batting has been their biggest concern over the last 3 4 season i thought like okay they might address that in the big auction but they have and it is like sort of very one dimensional thing which over reliance on uh andre russell to do the damage to us end overs yeah. you need somebody at the top like that since brandon mccallum scored 100 158 there hasn't, hasn't been a single one batter who has like scored 100 for them it's that surprising is, isn't it like 15 years see, you have see it is like a different it says two things either the brand of cricket that kolkata play which which is like aggressive cricket they don't put a price on the wicket which is good which is like t20 thing but it also shows that they haven't had that one standard batter who has like be able to be perform consistently yeah. right throughout the thing for them yes gautam gambhir robert nutappa they had like good batters across but none of them have had the same impact like say what like josh butler or yeah. kl rahul Su- suresh yeah. raina for instance with chennai super king had in his prime so these are the things that you need in a franchise you like but now you look at aaron finch they have rajinkya rahane and it's like so much responsibility is on shreya sir alone yeah. if you look at you know the delhi squad on paper and you pick the top 5 uh, it will be uh, prithvi shaw david warner sarfraz khan rishabh pant michel marsh it's, it's one of the most dynamic batting lineup but uh, they haven't played sarfraz at all and uh, they have used michel marsh at three which is where he batted at australia for the t20 world cup but still uh, it also essentially means that after the, if the top 3 or 4 crumbles they don't have a uh, you know batting to rely on I think it also comes to the fact that Rishabh Pant. If you look at Rishabh Pant, has scored runs, but not like as consistently as uh, dependable has yeah. Ponting or Delhi franchise would have expected him to. Look, Delhi is a very interesting team. Like you said, like they have like David Warner, Prithvi Shaw. They score like runs like anything in the power play. They score the most number of runs, but from there on to the end, that's where they're like they've been struggling. Actually, Roman Powell, you talk about he finished a couple of matches, but in the previous thing he was st- really struggling. He picked out he had like some uh, what do you call like some lame dismissals that contributed, and then Lalit Yadav again. It's like very interesting how they use Lalit Yadav as well. With we beat with the ball or with the bat, especially given the form that Kuldeep Yadav has yeah. been for them. I think Delhi should have been definitely been the top four. especially because their bowling is like performing even without the absence of anik nokia and they could have done a lot more like the team that the they team, have yes exactly yeah. which is like very surprising but again like uh each franchise sometimes they don't deliver like i think this delhi is like for them this one such season uh, but let's move on to the next team uh it's uh, punjab kings punjab kings obviously uh, let's move on to the next team it's punjab kings uh, uh it's it's you you wrote something about the way they approach the game it seems like uh, they have the essential need to score over 200 because of the way they have structured the team and uh, but uh, mayank was in a really good form in the lead up and was especially in the last couple of seasons uh, while the un- approach is understandable he looks uh, you know out of shape even when going for shots Yes, I think Mayan, especially the last game, he struggled. I was having a conversation with someone else as well. He was like struggling, like anything. He didn't look like a test opener at all. But saying that, it's like very interesting how Punjab have done because I thought they have the strongest eleven, yeah. but they haven't like done justice to the squad they have. But by any means, because they should be in somewhere in the top two or three, but they are like at number seven. It's like they are not even playing the sort of yes, they are playing in good cricket, which is like. providing us entertainment and everything but they should be finishing off matches they are supposed to do but for some reason it's not seems to be clicking do you think uh, you know uh, when basto came on one of the things that i thought was uh, that uh, basto would open the batting with someone like shikhar dhawan take on the 
bowlers in the power play and uh, someone like mayank could come in the middle overs and take on the spinners which is essentially what he's incredibly good at yeah that is like i mean i was not really open to that idea when you yeah. had this conversation before but now i think it makes sense for bastard to bat at uh, the top the, the yeah. top and probably mayank can even bat at number 3 as well yeah. which is like not a bad or number 4 like rajapaksa is there in the at for number 3 so it would be a interesting thing because mayank is like a very good hitter of the spin and even basto is but basto the kind of stars he gives with england and he's yeah. used to he's a free flowing batsman and then it's like he likes the ball coming out of the bat as well like he's like clean striker and with dawan also not like really like a uh what do you call it like, doesn't go and hammer and tong so yeah he probably seems the only consistent batsman exactly in this exactly this so point. yeah i think it's probably like uh, punjab have tried everything probably they could try this as well and see how this works because they have nothing to lose they if they need to qualify for the playoff they need yeah. to be bold in this their approach they they seem to take a lot of risk on the field but what venkat is essentially trying to say is that they have to take a few risks off the field as well uh, right. but uh, with their team selections and all that but uh, that's it for today uh, having discussed so much we should also say that all these team teams are still in the game uh, you know if they win the rest of their games to make it to the top 4 and qualify for the playoffs uh the this is uh, gomesh and venkat signing off uh thank you for watching thank you